Hi everyone, it's Miss Illidari and Presley again. And today we're going to do a, a dice comparing and contrasting activity. And so when you compare and contrast, that's when you use terms such as less than, greater than, uh, equal to, less, more, least, most. And so you're looking at the smaller amount and the bigger amount. And so, uh, just like with another video where I use dice, if you don't have dice at home, I'll show you three different ways that you can do this activity. So let's go ahead and get started. The first way to do this dice activity game is if you happen to have dice at home, and like I said, I have my giant dice at home, and so that's what I will be using for this activity. And so on your paper, you're just going to draw your dice amounts. So here's your dice face. And your other dice face. And we're just going to leave it at that for now. So then you're going to take your dice, roll it. And my number is one, two, three, four, five, six. My number is six. So on the first one that's that's what you fill out first like you read left to right you're gonna write left to right so i'm going to draw that amount one two three four five six and write the number six a curve and a loop there's no tricks to make a six then you're going to roll your dice again and my number is one two two so I will draw that just like on the face of my dice. One, two, and write my number. Around and back on the railroad track. So comparing six and two, which one is most? Six. Six is greater than two. So I look at it as you're trying to grab the bigger one. You're not even going to look at the smaller one. You're going to look at the bigger one and you're going to grab it because that's the one you want. Now, listen, think of it as cookies. Do you want six cookies or two cookies? Because I don't know about you, but I want the most cookies. So I'm going to grab the most. So read it. Six is greater than two. If you want to swap it around and... Two is less than six. You're still grabbing the six, but now you're, you're swapping the numbers around. Two is less than six. Always read it left to right. Never read it backwards. All right. So that was the dice way. The other way is I wrote numbers on a piece of paper and put it in a bucket. Numbers one through six. And so you'll just draw out a number from the bucket. So you pick your number. My first number is six. That's kind of cool how the dice was six and the first number I picked was six. So you'll draw your face of your dice. And you'll do your dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw your number six, a curve and a loop. There's no tricks to make a six. And then you'll draw your next dice face. And grab another pin. <clears throat> you'll draw your next dice face. And pick out your next number from your number bucket. My next number is three. <clears throat> so I'm going to draw three dots on my dice face. One, two, three. And then around a tree, around a tree. That's the way to make a three. So comparing six and three. Which one is greater? Which one would I want to grab? Six or three? 
I would want to grab six. So six is greater than three. And three is, if six is greater than three, then three is less than six. So read it, six is greater than three. And then the last way, so we've done the dice, if you have that at home. We've done the numbers in a bucket. And the last way, if you have permission to use someone's phone or someone's tablet, you can get uh, a dice rolling app on it they're for you can you can find free ones i'm using my tablet today to show you um that you can also use your tablet so i will open it i'm in no way a spokesperson for this app i'm just showing you how to use technology to complete this activity and so with this one all you're going to do is tap the dice and it rolls it for you so the number i rolled is one two three four and so on my paper, I'm going to draw the face of my dice. I'm going to draw how many dots? Four. One, two, three, four. Down across, down once more. That's the way to make a four. And I will draw the next face for my next dice for the next roll. Grab my tablet and tap on it, and it rolled to a three. So I will draw my three dots one, two, three, and write my number three around a tree, around a tree. That's the way to make a three. And if I'm looking at it, which one's more and which one's less? Which one would you grab if it's more? If I'm grabbing more, I would grab four because four is more than three. So let's read it. Four is greater than three. Now, just in case, let's pretend that I rolled a three the first time. Sorry, my squares are kind of coming out a little funky. Sorry guys. All right, I rolled a three the first time. So one, two, three, I'll write my three. And let's say that I rolled a three my second time. So let me draw my face. And my three. Which one's more? Which one's less? Which would you grab if it's more? They are the same number. So we would say that they are equal. And so if I was, if I had the choice between three cookies or three cookies, they're the same. They are equal. They're fair. And so they are equal. Uh, I would probably just take both because they're equal. <laughs> so it would read three equals three. Okay, guys. Um, Presley and I really hope that y'all are able to use our videos to learn and that y'all have been enjoying these videos. And as um, my sister, Miss Rodriguez, starts to post her videos, they will be for second, third, and fourth level. And my videos are for pre-K, kinder, first level. And so please um, continue to learn with me and thank you for your support so far. Bye guys.